Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? Um, Tobias here with another vlog. Just want to say real fast guys, if you like this video, if you give, please give me a thumbs up. That would really help me out. So first thing for today's vlog, I got a new phone. It's the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, I actually really like it. It's big, got, has a big screen. You know, I'm going from the iPhone 5S and at first I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to get like a big phone. Like I, I, I'm really not the type of guy who's like, oh, I need the biggest and best thing like all the time. It's like, um, I'm fine with just like, um, I was almost thinking about getting the iPhone SE, which is like pretty much like the iPhone 5S, but like it's new, I guess you could say. It's like the same body as the 5S, but it's like new. But I am actually really glad, like just from having the phone today, like I really liked having the big iPhone uh, 6 Plus. So anyways, second thing for today's vlog, um, I just wanted to talk about something crazy that happened the other day. So I, I went out to a bar on Saturday night with like a couple of friends of mine. So pretty much like I was driving behind the alleyway of the bar and like it, it, it seemed sketchy from the get go. Um, it seemed like there was some sort of event going on at one of these buildings and I didn't actually know what was going on. But, and I, I really don't want to go into too much detail about this. I'll just tell you like what happened, but I don't want to go into too much detail about this because uh, I'm actually kind of nervous about talking about it on the internet. But anyways, I was outside this bar and I was talking to this guy that, um, this, is, this happened like right when I got there. I was talking to this guy that I knew there. Um, and the next thing you know, like, um, I, I hear what sounds like a firecracker and there's like a good amount of people outside with me. And this is like a little further down the alleyway from where we were actually standing, but sounds, and there's like a bunch of people down there. I hear like a firecracker kind of noise. And I was like, what the heck was that? Why is someone lighting a firecracker off in the alleyway? That's kind of weird. I was looking around and you know, like if someone's lighting off like a firecracker or a firework or something, you know, like people would probably be around like, woo! And then like, didn't, I was looking around, oh, that was weird. Like no one's like seems to be celebrating or anything. And then um, next thing you know, I look over again and I see a guy just like holding a gun like this. As he, and then he takes another shot. He's like, Pfft. he's shooting down at the, down the alleyway to like where all those people were. And I was like, what the fuck? Anyways, I didn't stick around to see if like anybody got shot. I ran inside and like a couple other people ran inside too. It was like pretty weird guys. It was, it was sketchy guys. Um, I'm pretty sure what happened is, is that there was like a fight that broke out inside that building or wherever that event was. And um, it probably carried on to like the outside and I don't, it might've been gang related. I'm not sure, but um, I'm assuming that there was a fight going on outside. This guy pulled out a gun and the first shot that I thought was a firecracker. Um, yeah, the guy must've taken a shot. I don't know if he hit anybody or what happened. Maybe he was shooting at a car. Maybe he was just trying to scare somebody. I really don't know. Um, the second shot is the one that I actually saw with my old own eyes. I saw the second shot with my own eyes. It was crazy guys. Anyways, the reason that I'm telling you guys this is because I just want to let you guys know, like there probably will be times in your life where like you might be close to getting into a fight. I know I've been there guys. Like I've gotten into little things here and there when I've been out and, um, I guess the moral of the story is it's not worth it. Whatever your beef is with whatever's going on, it's much better to walk away. You know, when, when people are, especially when people are drinking, when people are drinking guys, people do things that they don't, that they're going to regret. And, um, you know, you never know, you never know if somebody's going to have a gun, you never know if somebody's, somebody's going to have some kind of weapon on them. And it's just easier to stay away from trouble. Uh, like, I'm not telling you guys to, like keep your head low and be like on edge all the time when you're going out. But I mean, incidents can escalate so quickly, like whether it's a road rage incident or you get in a fight with a guy in a bar, you know, it could really be anything. And it's just better guys, just stay away. Just if you feel like something might be happening, just stay away. It's much better to take the high road. You know, even if you feel like someone's disrespecting you, you know, be the bigger man or bigger woman, however you want to take it, but be the bigger person and just leave the situation. You know, if you see a shooter, you see some something like going on, like get out of there. Don't stay around to see what happens. Like just get out of there like quick guys, because you never know people could sh start shooting back and you might get hit by a straight bullet. Like anything could really happen guys. Just 
I cannot stress this enough. Um, this is almost like a public service. I'm almost giving you guys like a public service announcement here. Like, like I'm dead serious when I'm talking about this stuff, guys. Anyways, I'm not trying to make you guys scared of like life. I'm not make, trying to make you guys scared of going out. I'm just letting you guys know, try your best to stay away from trouble. If someone, even if someone comes up to your face and yells F you to your face, just say, okay, and walk away, guys. It's not worth losing your life over or anything like that. So anyways, guys, I will leave you guys with that message and I will go to bed and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. So peace, guys. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow.